It's tough to say which way the bond market's going to break out here. It's been very tricky of late, and some of our technicals are suggesting a breakout to the upside, while others suggest a breakdown to the, uh, to the downside. This is Mark Arbiter with S&P's Chart Room. Taking a look at a daily chart of the 10-year Treasury, we had thought that the 10-year Treasury yield was putting in a fairly large uh, head and shoulders top. Uh, we thought over here was the left shoulder, uh, the head here, and then we thought we were putting in a right shoulder here. Uh, what we needed to do here was break this 245 level, 2.45%, and then we could have seen a measured move uh, well down into the low 2% area. Um, since that time, it now looks like uh, we're putting in an inverse head and shoulders with the left shoulder here, uh, the head here, and the right shoulder here. So strictly from a yield uh, perspective, what we need to do is break above the prior high, which is up near 2.8%. Uh, near if we do that, then we think we could see a measured move uh, up above the 3% level. However, if we do break down below 245, as we said, uh, we think this move has further to go on the downside. From a longer term perspective, we're still unclear which way the next major move for bonds will be. Taking a look at a weekly chart uh, going back to 2007, uh, we broke above uh, trend line support. Uh, this is yield, so this is trend line support, not resistance. Um, we put in this very large uh, inverse head and shoulders base and broke out from that. And a measured move based on the size of that inverse head and shoulders was up to 3.4%, uh, which we have not reached yet. Uh, but from a, you know, a shorter term perspective, it still looks like we may be working on uh, this head and shoulders top. We need to get back below this 2.45% level. Uh, this, this move from here to here looks like uh, it could be a back test of that trend line. Uh, support. Uh, we don't know yet. We don't want to see, um, or we do want to see uh, yields break down uh, below this trend line, which would suggest, you know, even lower yields uh, back towards the low twos again. Uh, on, from a longer term perspective, the next major piece of chart support uh, is up near the 3.7 level. Uh, that's based on the prior peak, which was back in early 2011. So the technical picture looks like it go, could go either way. Uh, from a sentiment uh, picture, uh, the sentiment is pretty bearish on bonds right now, and it has been for a while. Uh, so that's a potential positive going forward. Uh, the other thing that's positive for bonds is the commitment of traders data. Uh, large uh, speculators, small speculators have reduced their positions uh, to very low levels while commercial hedgers have increased or in continue to increase their positions uh, in the futures market. Uh, so from a sentiment point and a cut data point, uh, things are looking positive for bonds. Uh, we just don't know when we look at the daily and weekly charts which way things are going to break. So we'll stay, we'll stay tuned on uh, this one and let you know uh, when we figure this out. This has been Mark Arbiter with S&P's Chart Room.